Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. We we'll continue with our SQL accounting system training. In today's lesson, we'll talk about purchase request, the first transaction in purchase module. So when you are at SQL accounting system, the purchase module, so you can see that there are totally seven transactions and we'll start with purchase request. So in purchase request is actually more towards for a bigger organization where they have a purchasing department where the purchaser need to send purchase request to the purchasing manager or sometimes they will send purchase request to their supplier okay to get quotation so um, how to do that we just go need to go to purchase request and same things in SQL accounting system when you go to any transactions or maintenance the first thing that you see is a listing of all the uh, transaction in this purchase request you'll see all the purchase requests and you can search all the transactions by using different column for example if you remember the, the number then you just type the number will do cannot remember the number you can type the company name okay or you can use field chooser to pull out uh, that means right click column title field chooser to pull out any um, column or data that you can you want to use as a searching criteria else you just click on the new so if the first thing is in all SQL transaction it will settle within the one page the first thing that you need to select is the supplier in purchase request and you just need to type the name why when I type the name the name the, the supplier will come up is because you can see that the company name is in bold that means the focus is at company name what if one day you tell me Brian when I type the supplier name nothing come up because your focus run can you see company name too is in bold color so what you need to do is backspace clear off all the searching click on the tab key on your keyboard once you will jump to another column tap again go to the tap again go to company name and when you type the supplier name it will come up what if you cannot remember the full name just part of it then you need to click on the bottom here the a click one time a will be in the middle so you type anything let's say communication so anything that come up you can search accordingly so let's select this supplier select the item same thing supply the focus now is at description so you can key in the quantity change the unit price or do a field chooser over the item part to drag out maybe discount just drag drop as simple as that okay you can put in discount if you put percentage it will be in percent if you put in without percentage it will be amount and in SQL we support unlimited level of discount something like this percentage plus amount okay do not want to then uh, replace it empty it or you can drag out field chooser uh, then use more description if you want to type more things regarding to this item okay if you do have maintain in maintain stock item more description it will come out automatically okay so you can put in more item DJ then you have um, let's say the blue pen okay change the quality so you see when I select blue pen the more description which I maintain earlier will come out I, I can change it but do not click on the save just click on the cross and the system when ask you save change or not just yes so um, you can also move the, the the item from the bottom move up by using the blue color arrow up key you can move up or move down okay you can have attachment and so on so you can save the document and preview it using the preview button select one of your required templates let's say this is the template you want and click on the export you can export to PDF format let's say put at the desktop so this is Maxis purchase request. 
save it so by doing this you can actually have one copy of your Maxis purchase request in PDF format which you can email to your supplier so this is how you create a purchase request which is the first document or transaction in purchase module okay so um, in next tutorial I'll talk about purchase order which is most people will start with purchasing a module by using purchase order rather than purchase request so if you do have time do drop by at my facebook it's facebook.com slash syntax technologies help me to like my page if you want to watch others tutorial you can go to my website syntax.com.my then go to youtube and get all the previous tutorial and get it free over here so once again i'm brian from syntax technologies thank you